This is the Volkswagen California Ocean, and it's a bit like this rucksack I have here, because it may look pretty normal on the outside, but it's packed full of clever features, which make it ideal for camping. I'll get someone else to clear that up. So this thing starts from just under 60,000 pounds. Yeah, it's quite a lot of money, but it's got so many cool features and you'll find out more about those in this video. Now, if you want to see how much money you can save on a new car, click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen to go to Car Wow. Here in the front of the California, it feels very car-like. You've got a normal VW-style dash here and it looks smart. I mean, some of the plastics are a bit cheap, but then others do feel more expensive down here and you've got soft touch material on the, the door top, so that's good when you're driving along long distances and then you can fold this armrest down and it's, yeah, it's really super comfy. The steering wheel feels nice as well and it's got multifunction buttons there to control different things and there's plenty of adjustment in it as well. That's good. So is the fact that the gear lever, that's nice and close at hand really very easy to operate. And so all the controls just very, very sensibly laid out. No problem at all, typical VW. Up here we've got an infotainment system with satellite navigation. Now this is actually an optional extra and it's 1500 pounds, which is a bit expensive when you consider this is VW's older infotainment system. So you've got slightly lower res graphics, you haven't got the biggest screen. It's easy enough to use because you've got shortcut buttons down the side. It just doesn't feel all that modern to use. In terms of storage, it's not bad at all. So we've got some storage areas up here where you can fit a bottle. There's some huge ones down here where, look, I've got a bottle of oil. More about that later. There's a little bit of storage in here where you can put your mobile phone and you can connect it up to the USB port. And then you can run Apple CarPlay and Android Auto through this infotainment system and a 12 volt socket just in here. And look, this is actually a torch. How cool is that? You've also got a couple of cup holders so you can fit a bottle in there. And if you've got a larger bottle, look, there's actually a specific bottle holder down here. I'll just leave my oil in there. You've also got some storage up on here, although it's pretty much filled by the car's, I say car, the van's manual. And you've got another glove box down here. It's not very big, that one, though. It does have cooling from the air conditioning, so you can cool some drinks in there. And there's some more storage just up here on top of the dash. But yeah, overall, here in the front, it's pretty nice. And you've got this handy grab rail to make it easy. I'll just turn the ignition off to get in and out. Just jump into the back seats so you have a sliding rear door so look it's so easy to get into the back and when i shut it if i don't shut it hard it'll still kind of close the last bit itself to always make sure it's shut now this is only a two-seater here in the back but it's reasonably comfortable there's an all right amount of headroom there so people over six foot will be fine and people with massively long legs will be fine as well because look at this I can really stretch out, so it's all right to do long distances here in the back of the California. Look at those windows. No electric windows here, they're sliders. It's all right. Now onto the boot. So, if you look at here, you've got a tailgate that lifts up, which can be a bit awkward when you're opening it in tight spaces or you're put quite close to something. Now, this is actually divided, this boot here. You've got enough space for some suitcases underneath that ledge and of course you can put stuff on here if you want to and you've got some nets to hold things down with and separate say your dog from the rest of the cabin but there is so much more to tell you about this car's features than this you can transform the california from a travel wagon to a living room very easily all you have to do is press a button to raise the roof electrically pull back the roof hatch then push up from the inside to create standing space then you push the steering wheel back, release the front seat and rotate it round. Then do the same with the passenger seats. Next, you remove the boot divider so you can slide the rear seats all the way back. Finally, you can put up a table and flip out a cup holder for your cup of tea. And then you have a decent space where you can just sit back, relax and hang out. If you want, you could use your VW California as a burger van because you have all the cooking facilities you need. There's a cooking hob on board, though you'll need to hook it up to the gas supply first. You've even got a fridge to keep meat and dairy fresh, and some cupboards to store pans, utensils and food. And now I'm going to cook my cameraman a nice fried egg sandwich. Oh, wait a minute, it looks like the gas has gone out. Ah, yeah, so before you head out, make sure you've got a full gas bottle. Sorry, Lewis, no sandwich for you today. Now, if I had managed to cook and I needed to wash up, then look at this. I have got a little sink here. 
Yeah, it is quite small, but it's handy. If you fancy some al fresco dining, then that's not a problem either. Packed inside a pouch in the tailgate, there's some camping chairs. Pop out a panel in the sliding door, extend the legs, and you have a picnic table. If it looks like your meal may be ruined by the weather, don't worry. You can get the California with a roof awning, which is dead simple, even for one person to put up on their own. And then you can sit outside and enjoy the countryside, even when it's raining. After a tough day relaxing, you're probably going to want to go to sleep. Well, thankfully, it's quite easy to make your bed. First, you have to pull the rear seats to their most forward position, drop the rear head restraints and pull a strap to lower the backrest. Then it's just a case of refitting the boot divider I removed earlier. And then you have a double bed. It is reasonably comfy. Though, to be fair, there isn't actually much room for two adults here. And when you're ready to go to sleep, you can just shut the blinds. There we go. Put on the auxiliary heating to keep it nice and toasty in here at night. And if you have friends over, then there's something really cool. All you have to do is pull the roof liner back down to its original position and climb up to the second deck. And then you have another double bed up here on the roof. <sighs> However, you do have to be careful when climbing out of the top bunk. And this brings me on to five things that aren't so great about the VW California. There really isn't much room to manoeuvre, so it'd be a bit of a nightmare with a family in here. And even with just two of you, you often think you'd be better off in just a large tent. You think that on something this big, Volkswagen would give you all-round parking sensors as standard, but... Nope, they're an optional extra, and you are going to need them. If you get the handbrake on, it's really hard to operate the controls for the seat lumbar support. So you have to take the handbrake off. I just hope you don't roll away like that. This two-tone paint may look pretty cool, but it'll cost you an extra two and a half thousand pounds. In fact, this particular VW California with extras comes to a whopping 65 grand. I mean, just think how many proper holidays in nice hotels you could have for that. And like a proper mobile home, the California doesn't have a shower nor a toilet on board. So if you don't park next to somewhere with facilities, it could be a bit awkward. Right, I'm just off into the bushes for a, a number two, excuse me. The California is based on Volkswagen's excellent T6 van. And as a result, it's really good to drive. It's easy to steer, it handles all right for a van and it's comfortable. The only thing that you might find is that it can be a little bit rattly as you're driving along as all the bits of trim and cupboards and the stuff in them just kind of shakes about as you go over bumps. On the motorway though, you don't get too much wind noise or tire noise for a van. And this one is fitted with the active cruise control so I can set my speed and it will also use radar in the front to keep me safe distance from the car in front. And that system also includes auto emergency braking to prevent you having an accident. The engine fitted to the California is a two litre turbo diesel. It's got just over 200 horsepower, so it's fairly nippy when you put your foot down and the automatic gearbox is nice and smooth. In terms of economy, well, I'm getting 32 miles per gallon, which I think is easily good enough. One of the things I really like about this, say, compared to a normal motorhome, is that it's just a little bit smaller. So you still have all the great things about a normal van, so great visibility, because you're sat up high, you've got big door mirrors, but the California has a back window, so you can see out of that, although this one is slightly obscured because I've got the headrests in the upright position, but you can fold them down. It's definitely easier to navigate through streets and when parking than a larger, more traditional motorhome. So then, what's my final verdict on the VW California Ocean? Uh, should you avoid it? Should you consider it? Should you shortlist it? Or should you just go right ahead and buy it? Well, if you're a VW camper fan, just go right ahead and buy it. You're going to do it regardless. Everyone else, though, avoid it. Now, yeah, it's packed full of clever features, but I tried to spend the weekend in one and found it so uncomfortable that I ended up just checking it into a hotel. So if you want a motorhome, get a proper motorhome. Now, I know this thing will hold its value pretty well, but if it's money you want to save, just get a big tent. Either way, this is a jack of all trades and master of none. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, comment on it and share it. Also click on our logo to subscribe to this channel. And if you click on the bottom right hand corner, you can actually watch more of our content. Meanwhile, click over to the right to go to our deals page to see how much money you can save on a new car at CarWow.